Hi friends, uh, welcome to the Cruise Biology and today we are talking about the cells and organs of immune system. Now we are first going to the classification of cells and organs of immune system then later on see detailed structure about that. The classification of the organs of immune system first one is the primary lymphoid organ and second one is the secondary lymphoid organs. The primary lymphoid organs means the immune cells are developed into the primary lymphoid organ. The example of primary lymphoid organ is bone marrow and thymus and primary lymphoid organ is the site for development and maturation of lymphocytes. Here you can see that uh, the bone marrow is located here and the thymus is located here. And the secondary lymphoid organ are responsible for the immune ref immune response. The site for lymphocyte and antigen interaction is provided by the secondary lymphoid organ. Here you can see the example of the secondary lymphoid organ is the spleen, lymph node, uh, gut, and the mucosal tissue as well as MALT. You can see here lymph node is located the location of each uh, lymphoid organ thymus is the primary lymphoid organ here you can see the diagram of the lymph node showing the flow of lymph through the lymph sinus here you can see the location of the primary lymphoid organ thymus and bone marrow and the lymph node Plain various location of the lymphoid organs. Now, what is the hematopoietic stem cell? It is the cell from which all the mature blood cells are arise, like red blood cell, granulocytes, macrophage, dendritic cell, lymphocyte, and this process is called as hematopoiesis. Now the two primary lymphoid organs is so first one is the bone marrow and thymus where the hematopoietic stem cell res, uh, reside and give rise to all cell types and the thymus when T cells are complete their maturation. Remember friends the bone marrow is the uh, site where the all the uh, cells are give rise in the bone marrow but maturation of T cell occurs in the thymus and production of T cell into the bone marrow. These lymphoid organs are responsible for development of stem cell into the mature immune cell. Now what is the hematopoietic stem cell? First we are seeing what is stem cell. Stem cell have a it is defined by the two capacities. First one is the self renewal capacity and the second one is the differentiation capacity. The stem cell is divided uh, into different cell or uh, differentiate into the old diverse type of cell and it has the self renewal capacity. It has own capacity to regenerate. Now you can see that what is the type of stem cell. First one is the embryogenic stem cell and the second one is the adult stem cell. Embryogenic stem cell have a capacity to uh, differentiate into the specialized cell type like pluripotent, unipotent, multipotent. You have heard about all these words. And the uh, adult stem cell have a capacity to diverse all type of cell that specify the particular tissue. In the multiple uh, adult organ, harbors the stem cell is called adult stem cell. The hematopoietic stem cell are the adult stem cell hematopoietic stem cell because they give rise to the various type of cell that going to the specific lineage. Here you can see that the hematopoietic stem cell divide into the either common myeloid progenitor or either they divide into the lymphoid progenitor and the lymphoid progenitor further divide into the dendritic cell and myeloid progenitor divide into the various type of cell like monocyte then monocyte give rise to dendritic cell 
intestine and dendritics and Langer and cell. The self renal capacity of the hematopoietic stem cell give rise to the lymphoid and myeloid progenitor and all the cells are uh, re uh, regenerated into the bone marrow and mature into the uh, mature T cell mature into the thymus and they are going to the uh, peripheral tissue for their maturation. Here you can see more precisely the differentiation of the hematopoietic stem cell. The hematopoietic stem cell either divide into myeloid and lymphoid progenitor, then lymphoid progenitor give rise to NK cell, then give rise to either T cell, B cell and the T cell are further differentiated into the TH cell and TC cell in the peripheral tissue. All these uh, cells are migrate to the peripheral tissue and further maturation is proceed and the B cell progenitor give rise to the B cell and uh, from the lymphoid progenitor dendritic cells also differentiated and from the myeloid progenitor dendritic cell is arise then from the basophil eosinophil progenitor granulocyte uh, monocyte progenitor and mega karyot and erythrocyte these three are called granulocytes eosinophil basophil and they further maturation in the peripheral tissue here the peripheral here the peripheral tissue is there for the further maturation it is matured into the neutrophil that mature into the eosinophil and basophil mature into the, the basophil progenitor give rise to the basophil and mega karyocyte give rise to the platelets and further the monocyte from the granulocyte it is matured into the macrophage and you can see that here is the peripheral tissue and maturation of all types of cell we can see in the previous slide. Now the hematopoietic stem cell give rise to the whole type of red blood cell and the common myeloid uh, progenitor and common lymphoid progenitor that give rise to the different type of cell. Here the table you can see that that is the concentration and frequency of the cells that is in red blood cell are the 5 into 10 raise to 6 cell per mm and platelets, leukocytes, neutrophils. You don't have to remember all this value but it is very important for the competitive exam. Uh, when you are going to more detail, the question asks from more detail. So you have to remember this RBC value and the leukocytes, all the things. Now the genes for the differentiation, you can see that the regulation of the lineage commitment during the hematopoiesis. It means that during the process of hematopoiesis, the cells are differentiated into the specific lineage. You can see that either go into the myeloid progenitor, either go into the lymphoid progenitor or from the hematopoietic stem cell, it is called to the myeloid commitment. There is a multiple genes responsible for uh, the commitment of lineage and regulation of the lineage by several, several transcription factor by the GATA2. The it importance is the de in the development of the hematopoietic lineage and if there is an absence of the, the this transcription factor, the animal cannot survive. I mean, animal are die without this transcription factor. Second one is the BMI1 transcription factor. It is responsible for the self renewal capacity of hematopoietic stem cell. And without uh, the, this transcription factor, the animal dies within a two months because there is a formation of RBC and WBC. So it is not formed without the, this transcription factor and uh, animal is die. The third one is there, IK across, 
and it is responsible for the lymphoid but not myeloid here you can see that there is a it is important for the lymphoid but not myeloid development the animal survive in the absence but cannot mount the full immune response so this transcription factor is responsible for the immune response and fourth one is the notch one and it is regulate the choice between t and b lymphocyte lineage there is not only four transcription factors there is a another transcription factor also available but this four is most 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 important transcription factor i hope this video is helpful to you guys in the further videos we are seeing about the detailed structure of the structure of the immune cells and immune organs and function of the immune cells and immune organs i hope this video is helpful to you if you are clearing the biological concept all by seeing all these videos then like our videos and subscribe our channel thank you